so hi everyone so today in this video i will discuss the recent fmg exam which was conducted by the national board for foreign medical graduate exams i will be discussing the radiology question from this particular paper and i am sure many of you who are listening to me today must be thinking ke sir radiology in fmg exam my seniors had told me only to read five subjects six subjects and that is what i wanted to point out to you in this particular exam we had 10 questions on radiology directly from the notes directly discussed in the class very easy to do and these 10 questions will make a big difference in the final pass rate of the exam but what happens is sometimes we make a mistake that you know some senior tells us ke nahi bhai hame sirf panch subject karne don't do that mistake try doing every subject if you are at a average level in a small subject it will give you a good return in the final exam so that is the first mantra to pass fmg exam with flying colors we should be trying to touch every subject and that leads me to the second part that don't think ke aakhir mein i will do in the final two weeks or i will do in the final two three weeks or one month give yourself good five six months to prepare good five six months to prepare touch all subjects make good notes revise that should be the mantra and at dams we have started a interactive fmg course on the e medicos app where we have live teaching specifically for the next fmg exam so let's quickly look at the questions that have been asked in this year's exam the first question what is the diagnosis based on this image of the newborn so there is a image of the newborn where we can see uh, something like this so what are you able to see you are able to see a marker here and at the anal pit and you can see the baby is held upside down we can call it in vertogram and we can see the gas is still here this is the anal pit marker this is what you do in patients with anorectal malformation although there is a debate between uh, should we be doing a invertogram nowadays or can we do a lateral oblique view instead of it but this question is not controversial that is typical of fmg exam they have not given anything controversial they have simply asked what is this condition so this is a x ray of imperforate anus what x ray has been done this is a invertogram clear a possible question that they can repeat again also in your exam second condition they had shown a ct pns this is a ct of the orbit and the uh, paranasal sinus area and they had a question identify the image identify the image so we have to find out where is the pathology so i want you to all look at the ct image carefully and i'm sure most of you should be able to appreciate this is your maxillary sinus maxillary sinus inferior turbinate middle turbinate middle turbinate and this is your orbit orbit now if you see here there is a blow out fracture of the floor of the orbit with the soft tissue hanging here this is what is called as the tear drop sign so uh, let's see an answer the question here is we have a patient with orbital floor fracture so the answer here was orbital floor fracture in a previous fmg exam they have asked the sign tear drop sign is seen in the answer is uh, you know orbital floor fracture blow out fracture now identify the x ray shown in the what does the x ray shown in the image depict so i will zoom the x ray and explain it to you i want you to see this area what is this this is your left hemi diaphragm and what is this this is your left cp angle costophrenic recess now cp angle is the most dependent part of the pleural cavity if you have fluid in the pleura the fluid will settle down and the cp angle will be obscured and if you have more fluid it will even obscure the diaphragm so you can see there is blunt there is an opacity in the right lower zone with blunting of the cp angle and obscuring of the diaphragm which is all going in favor of pleural effusion now why this is not tension pneumothorax pneumothorax is air air will be black so you will see a hyperlucent area here you see a opacity opaque area opaque area this is not black so this is not air now is this emphysema no emphysema will lead to bilateral Uh, lungs being over inflated hyper inflated with flattening of the diaphragm hyperlucency tubular heart while bronchiectasis you will see those tram track signet ring like lucencies uh, and bunch of grapes like appearance because of the dilated bronchi which are also possible questions for you in the exam but in this particular exam the question the answer is pleural effusion and again i am telling you 
pleural effusion pneumothorax are two important FMG images. I see them repeated very often by the exam board. A newborn has a lump in the back. A newborn has the lump in the back, lower back. You have to identify on the MRI. Okay. Now let's see what is it. We can see an out pouching from the spinal canal which has some meningeal CSF inside, meninges around it, some uh, neuro neurological component tissue also here. So you have the spinal cord as well as the CSF filled sacs out pouching from the spinal canal. You can see it on the, this is your T1 weighted image. This is your T2 weighted image, sagittal images MRI and you can see there is out pouching. So now one of the choices is saying meningocele, one is saying myelomeningocele. So it is clear to us that both the neural component, the tissue neural placard component as well as the meninges are out pouching here which you can see when I zoom it to you for here. This is what is called as myelomeningocele. So the best answer here is myelomeningocele. One of the choices is saying bone cyst. So to show a bone cyst, which is uh, to the best of my understanding when they want to show you a simple bone cyst, they will show you upper end of humerus in a child, metaphyseal, unilocular, non-expensile lesion with a fallen leaf sign in the child in the metaphysis. Think of simple bone cyst. Here you can see these are the vertebra. You can see this is the sagittal plane of a, a spinal canal without pouching of the CSF filled sac. You know that the answer has to be either A or C, but we saw the neural placard also herniating out, telling me that the answer is myelomeningocele. Okay? Now, just like I predicted, one question on pleural effusion, one on pneumothorax. Very, very important, very often asked. One on a bone tumor, which is possible they can ask you. Or this time they have asked you myelomeningocele, next time they will say lemon sign and banana sign in the antenatal ultrasound is seen in. Again, the answer will be spina bifida. You can mark it. It will be asked in the next exam. Now, here you have a patient with stop stabbing pain in the chest. X-ray is shown to you. Now, this is where you will understand. Look at this thorax. Do you think it is more black? More black? Hyperlucent. So, this means there is more air. You can see the underlying collapsed lung with a sharp outer margin which is called as the pleural line sign following the contour of the chest wall. This is the collapsed lung. This is the pneumothorax and this question, the answer is pneumothorax. Pneumonitis or pneumonia will be opacity with air bronchogram which is again a possible question for your future exams. Emphysema, we have already discussed. Bronchitis, we have already discussed. So, out of the 10 questions, two were straightforward. One was pleural effusion, one is pneumothorax. Definitely, you should be studying them. And uh, one was this theater of fracture in vertogram. This is what we have seen so far. Uh, you know, some students, they recall this question twice. So, we have included it twice. Probably, it was uh, there only once. This is the blowout fracture and the teardrop sign we have already seen it in the previous question. Now this patient has uh, inflammatory bowel disease previously diagnosed as ulcerative colitis and a lumbar spine x-ray is shown to you. So we have a patient where there is some inflammatory bowel disease and a spine x-ray is shown to you. We want to see what is the problem in the spine x-ray. You can see these are vertically directed, uh, uh, vertically directed syndesmophytes. Which, are, which represents ossification of the outermost disc fibers, which are connecting the vertebra together and creating a bamboo-like appearance. And the SI joints are fusion, fused. So there is bilateral sacroiliitis with a bamboo spine appearance. I am sure 99% of you already in the chat box are able to answer that we are looking at ankylosing spondylitis. Okay. So, uh, this patient had a associated association between the ankylosing spondylitis and the inflammatory bowel disease and we could correlate with the image. Again, a spine image where we have two images. Okay, One is a contrast enhanced MRI image and one is a T1 weighted plane image. And what I want you to understand is, you can see two adjacent vertebra have some abnormal signal with the irregularity of the disc. So if I answer some soft tissue edema also, all this is possible, like this is a focal problem involving two vertebra. So if I call vertebra as spondylo with the intervening disc inflamed, spondylo discitis. So what is your answer? Pot spine. 
ओके इन्वेस्टिगेशन ऑफ चॉइस फॉर पॉट स्पाइन एनीबडी एमआरआई अर्लीएस्ट एक्सरे फीचर प्रीवियस एफएमजी क्वेश्चन अर्लीएस्ट एक्सरे फीचर लॉस ऑफ डिस्क स्पेस सो व्हेनेवर इफ यू सी ऑन अ एमआर two adjacent vertebra having edema inflammation with the involvement of the intervening disc think of pot spine as the possible answer what is the investigation we can see the what is this part urethra you can see the urethra so this is your penile urethra bulbar urethra and this is also a possible question in your future exam they might ask you to identify the parts so uh, up below the bladder you have the prostatic urethra at the level of pubic symphysis you have the membranous urethra then you have the bulbar urethra which is this hanging down part like this and then you have the penile urethra that means we have done a test to look at the urethral anatomy you have injected the dye by putting a catheter at the tip of the urethra here clamping it and injecting the dye opposite to the flow of the urine so we call it retrograde urethrogram this is not mcu mcu you will see a full bladder and you will take the image in the maturating phase so when the patient is maturating so you will see the bladder and you will see the urethra together so this is not mcu this is rgu if they say investigation of choice for urethral trauma suspected urethral injury think about rgu rgu is better to evaluate anterior part of urethra while posterior urethra is better seen on mcu again remember mcu is the investigation of choice for vesico ureteric reflux posterior urethral valves also possible questions in your future fmg exam and finally this is again one of the predictions that i have been giving that they will ask you one question on a sinus x ray now important thing is can you see the maxillary sinuses clearly yes because you have tilted the chin so you can see the maxillary sinuses clearly you can see the frontal sinuses here and the patient has a open mouth this is what is called as the waters view in codwell view the maxillary sinuses will be obscured by the petrous temporal bone and codwell view is better done for frontal sinuses waters view is better done for maxillary sinuses so the answer to this questions is waters view very important very often repeated in your exams so final messages from my side are i think this is the most honest question that you need to know most important statement in all honesty you need to know is for fmg please please try to go through all subject notes don't pick and choose what happens is sometimes you know somebody senior to you or a friend of yours will say ki yaar ye chhod de mat padh ke ja and you can see for yourself 10 question the yahan pe so they they will help you a lot in passing the exam the only difference that you need to do is please try to cover all subjects notes but don't overdo it in your you know when you look around for resources you will find resources which are selling thousands and thousands of hours of pre recorded lectures which are often of dm entrance level so after md uh, after you do your fmg exam there is a, a you know neat pg for md entrance and there is a super specialty exam for dm entrance they are making notes based on the dm entrance just to create a fomo in the mind of students the exam you can see they have asked only basic things waters view pehchano rgu pehchano pneumothorax pehchano tb pehchano so they have not gone overboard into anything my suggestion is and what we follow in dams is we cover in a say, period of around 4 to 6 months in the fmg live course we teach live so when the teacher is teaching live with the students he knows the level of the students he knows how much is to be covered and he solves the doubts also so in the fmg live interactive course we tell our students to make notes along with the classes then do multiple revision of those notes and give the tests this is all you need to do give test make notes revise them don't buy them because once you buy them you are collecting them there is a difference between collecting and understanding once you follow it it's very easy to pass this exam i wish you all the best i also want to tell you today through this media is please do not rule yourself out i think on this very channel a few days back i shared a video of a girl who has done very well in the neat pg exam after in the first attempt itself she was a foreign medical graduate came back and uh, joined the uh, our classes and then she's got a top rank uh, uh, in the you know top 1000 bracket in the neat pg itself 
so there are many such examples she actually sent us a video of her so we shared it with you but there are many such examples that i keep meeting so please do not rule yourself out please look at fmg exam as just one stop in your journey look at medical career as a journey don't look at it as a destination क्योंकि इफ यू स्टार्ट लुकिंग एट इट एज अ डेस्टिनेशन यू आर पुटिंग अ लॉट ऑफ प्रेशर ऑन योर सेल्फ कि यार हे भगवान नहीं हुआ तो क्या हुआ ये भी निकल जाएगा और उसके आगे भी आप अच्छा करोगे स्टे पॉजिटिव कीप टेलिंग योर सेल्फ कि आई एम मेड फॉर बिग थिंग्स मैं बड़ी चीज के लिए बनाऊ ये मेरी जर्नी का एक भाग है ये मेरी डेस्टिनेशन नहीं है आई एम इन इट टू विन इट आई विश यू ऑल ऑल द बेस्ट कीप रॉकिंग एंड डू राइट इन दी कमेंट सेक्शन इन इट टू विन इट I have seen the magic happen once you say these words loud once you write it yourself I wish you all the best